Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show, and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. Uh, I, I, I did know Dr. Strauss. He was, uh, you know, he was there when we got to Ohio State um, and was continuing to work at Ohio State once once I left. Uh, so yeah, you know, knew, knew uh, the doctor. Um, but there is no truth to the fact that that I knew of any abuse. Uh, or I've talked to other coaches; they didn't know of any abuse. Um, it just, it just it, that's just not accurate to say those things that we knew of it and didn't report it. It's just not true. And is that uncharacteristic for Dr. Strauss? I mean, how do you characterize the accusations against Strauss uh, against him? Uh, you know, all I know is I never knew of any abuse from Dr. Strauss. Plain and simple um, was was. Uh, was the you know the conditions as you described? Yeah, we had we had a separate locker room, but the the you know the shower facility was was in the um, sort of the general area, general area. The shower facility. Um, yes, he would do that, but there were there were faculty staff, other students. It just it's just the nature of how how the arrangement was. It's just the nature of how the arrangement was. So that's Jim Jordan. Okay, here's the here's what this uh, lawsuit is uh, saying that Strauss sexually assaulted male athletes in at least 15 varsity sports during his employment at OSU. Uh, Di Sabato wrote in a June 26 email to uh, this lawyer, Catherine Trafford of Porter Wright Morrison Arthur. This is the Columbus based law firm that represents the university quote, athlete victims include members of the following programs, football, basketball, wrestling, swimming, cheerleading, volleyball, lacrosse, gymnastics, ice hockey, soccer, baseball, tennis, track, and cross country. Across 15 sports. He also said, based on testimony from victim athletes from each of the aforementioned varsity sports, we estimate that Strauss sexually assaulted and or raped a minimum of 1,500 to 2,000 athletes at OSU through 1998. Ohio State has confirmed that investigators have received, quote, confidential reports of sexual misconduct committed by Strauss from former athletes in 14 sports and from former patients at student health services. These were small town kids who were not likely to protest because they were in fear of losing their scholarships, he said the coaches knew that Strauss was a predator. Quote, everybody knew before you were going into the examination room that Doc Strauss was going to touch you. Strauss was not the only Ohio State official who showered with the team. At 3.30, some university professors, administrators, and others would show up in the shower stalls just as the athletes were arriving. Di Sabato said it's like walking through, quote, the gauntlet of sexual deviancy. Meaning, this doctor was inviting other professors of the same bent to come and shower with the young boys at 3.30 every day when practice ended. Another former wrestler whose testimony appears uh, on a video submitted to investigators describe how Strauss grabbed his penis during an examination. And he says, I didn't do a thing, probably because I was scared. And then he broke down. And they asked him, why, after all these years, are you saying something? Why are you speaking out now? And he said, why am I doing this? It's just hard. I don't want this to ever happen to anybody else ever at Ohio State University or any other school. Now, just so you know, uh, another law firm who's involved in this, um, P uh, Perkins Coey, they are overseeing the probe into the Strauss allegations uh, also for the university. 
Uh, the university has also reached out to the Columbus Division of Police and the Franklin County Prosecuting Attorney's Office for a criminal investigation to start. And, and, and here's the statement uh, from po- uh, Perkins Coey. They said, to date, Perkins Coey has interviewed more than 150 former students and witnesses and is engaged in further investigative efforts. Ohio State has shared all additional information that has come to the attention of the university with the independent investigators whose work is ongoing. Our efforts will continue. We will focus on uncovering what may have happened during this era, what university leaders at the time may have known, and whether any response at the time was appropriate. Once the independent investigation has been completed, we'll be in a position to consider what further action might be appropriate. Um, Here's why Jim Jordan fits in so well with speakers of the House. Fat Denny Hastert. Remember? Fat Denny Hastert, also a wrestling coach, also a pedophile. I don't know what it is about this party with the Roy Moores and, and now the Jim Jordans and now the, the, the Larry Nassers and the Dr. Strausses. I, I don't know what it is with this party that attracts so many of them. I guess they know how to cover for each other. I'm not really sure, but if you smack a woman around, the Republican Party will have your back. A la Rob Porter through John Kelly, even when photograph, photo, photographic evidence comes to the fore and you can see and the women come forward and they say he beat me or he, 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 he jumped through the shower, he broke the glass, choked me out. Whatever. They will cover for every disgusting thing that you could possibly imagine And that party is like a cult. This is why I call them Cult 45. Jim Jordan is clearly lying. 150 witnesses have already been interviewed by two law firms. Uh, Requests have been made to Jim Jordan by at least one law firm that's looking at this. Both of these law firms representing the university itself. Criminal charges are now being considered uh, whether because it's you're talking about rape and, and sexual deviance, uh, you know, just having their way with students at three thirty in the afternoon. You're talking about inviting other professors in. You're talking and Jim Jordan just stands there like 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 some helpless little, you know. And, and by the way, today, today, he says he's the one who's being harassed. He's being bullied. He's the one that's being molested. I'm not kidding. Yeah. He's saying he's been bullied. Ohio Representative Jim Jordan denied allegations. This is from Roll Call, the newspaper of Capitol Hill. Ohio Representative Jim Jordan denied allegations he knew of sexual abuse while he was an assistant wrestling coach and said the volume of email he's getting from one accuser amounts to bullying. This is from the Di Sabato guy. Now, Di Sabato actually wrote him an email at the beginning of this uh, uh, opening up of this investigation in April asking him to please help. Please help that he was that he had seen the Larry Nasser trial where Larry Nasser was molesting untold numbers of young ice skaters, untold number. Uh, sorry, gymnasts. Hard to keep my my sports straight. Untold number of young gymnasts who all at his sentencing came up and said what what you know that they were not victims they would not be victims but that they because they sought justice and that is what made them whole and that they were you know standing there gleeful that Nasser had finally been caught and that they prevented other girls from being the victim of Larry Nasser's unwanted sexual contact during examinations okay. He went right up to JJ, right? And, and told him, oh, this will help your back pain. And, you know, I mean, this, this, this is a great job for a pedophile. You got access to uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, athletes who injure themselves. And even if you get a thumb injury, what, he, he, he's, he's telling them, pull down your pain. They're showering together for an hour at a time. A whole hour. This isn't just, you know, running in after gym class and taking a shower and running. This is an hour at a time. And this is what the head coach said. He said to 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 Strauss, he said he told all the coaches, you know, this man has got to be hands off with these kids from now on. He He's showering with these kids. And they said, well, you know, it's just, uh, you know, after he said not for an hour. Nobody showers for an hour with these kids. This is wrong. This has to stop. So now Jim Jordan is attacking 
the the the, the grown up now. He's forty year, you know, forty years on, right? But he's attacking him and saying he's bullying me because he wrote him an email. And the response from Jim Jordan to the email, which is going to be, you know, uh, exhibit A, yeah. that Jim Jordan's lying, because Jim Jordan is a liar. Because most Republicans lie. They lie because they're not doing things for your benefit. That's why Tom Price had to resign. That's why Pruitt had to resign. Okay, that's why Kelly pleaded, uh, uh, by why Michael Flynn pleaded guilty. Okay, they lie. Donald Trump is a world heavyweight champion liar, and he still protected Pruitt, okay, who just resigned today, finally. 14 investigations, uh, you know, for Pruitt. All he did, though, was molest our tax dollars. These are our children who have a life sentence once they're touched like this. This is really sad and sick. And Jim Jordan is so freaking terrified because he knows there's evidence. And so now he's attacking the person who's accusing him of knowing. He's saying he's a bully. Uh, a source in Jordan's office told CNN it will check this out. Jim Jordan will contact Capitol Police about this this uh, 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 Michael DeSabato. Yeah, they're going to contact Capitol Police. He said his emails were vaguely threatening because of the amount of them. The source said Jordan didn't respond to them because he thought that Michael DeSabato was bullying him. Michael DeSabato said, Jim Jordan is a world caliber athlete who's very aggressive. He's a bulldog, let's be honest. So for him to say he's being bullied is somewhat laughable. Do you remember last week that testimony of, you know, when they called Rod Rosenstein? And, of course, Jim Jordan knows that the president is guilty of sin. So their new thing is to attack the attack to attack the investigators. And that's exactly what Jim Jordan did to Rosenstein. And let me tell you something. There's a name for this. This is called the full paterno. OK. That's why I began this conversation exposing you to Jim Jordan, who can turn a blind eye to the worst behavior, to a president who obviously invited Russia in to hack our elections, asking Russia if they were listening to find Hillary Clinton's 30,000 emails, having meetings with Russians in Trump Tower. I mean, this is just, but I assume any day now, Jim Jordan is going to call for an investigation into the law firms that are leading the investigation investigation into this uh, child molesting doctor at Ohio State. Jim Jordan, Denny Hastert, Roy Moore, this connection between powerful Republicans and the molestation of uh, young people is not good. But you know what's worse? No one is surprised. No one Nobody was surprised Roy Moore was who he was. Nobody is surprised that Denny Hastert, at least I wasn't, that fat Denny Hastert was who he was. And that's a wrestling coach, too. And Jim Jordan, a wrestling coach. It's always the wrestling. It's all, you know, but I, I, I can't. I mean, it's, it's like he's failing to stop Donald Trump from, from molesting the entire nation. Just like he's aiding and abetting Donald Trump in molesting the country... We want to look at what he did or didn't do while he was at Ohio State where children were being put through a gauntlet of sexual depravity. A gauntlet with all the teachers lined up at the shower. I mean, this is just so sick. It's just it's 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 vomit inducing. Okay, this is poison. This is poison and it's entrenched power. This is part of the swamp. I mean, listen, Pruitt molested, uh, you know, uh, every privilege he ever had to enrich himself. Donald Trump is doing the same thing. He's using the presidency to enrich himself. He claimed credit again over the weekend for the lowest black unemployment in history. And I had to tweet, and you can Google it, black unemployment under Obama. Get the chart. It goes down, 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 down. And Donald Trump takes credit. 
These are some sick and twisted people. Donald Trump is a molester of woman, women. Donald Trump brags that he can grab you. This doctor is dead, but everyone around him is to 150 people were interviewed, 150 boys at the time. And they all said the same story. They appeared on videotape. They wrote emails to Jim Jordan, which exist. And Jim Jordan's like, uh, oh, no, I'm a sweet little country mouse. I didn't know anything about it. I mean, I'm being bullied. I'm being bullied by these kids, these pesky kids with long memories of being molested and some even being raped by this doctor. And yeah, we, you know, we all knew, but I didn't, I turned a blind eye because that's what I do. I'm Jim Jordan. And if Donald Trump wants to molest women, if Donald Trump wants to molest the treasury, if Donald Trump wants to molest the border, if Donald Trump wants to separate mothers and children, I got this. I'll cover for him. I got years of experience covering up for molestation. Go to RandyRhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.